so you're saying I can ask this cat any question? The cat is connected to the computer. You just type in the question, it will read his mind. There the answer comes. You're the man! I've been looking for this for weeks. Welcome to a second example on how to find the inverse of a 3x3 three three matrix using an augmented matrix. Because the given matrix is a 3x3 three three matrix, our augmented matrix will be a 3x6 matrix, where on the left we'll have matrix A, and on the right we'll have a 3x3 three three identity matrix. So let's go ahead and set this up. Again, we have matrix A on the left and a 3x3 three three identity matrix on the right. Now we're going to perform raw operations to transform the left side, or matrix A, into a 3x3 three three identity matrix, as we see here in red. And once we have a 3x3 three three identity matrix on the left, here, the right side will be the inverse of matrix A, or A inverse. So we need to start by obtaining zeros in these six positions and then make sure the main diagonal here consists only of ones. So looking at our matrix, let's start by obtaining a zero here and here. Well, if we multiplied row two by positive three and then added it to row three, we'd, we'd have a zero in this position here. So let's go ahead and replace row three with three times row two plus row three. Now let's also obtain a zero in row two, column one, and let's focus on using row one and row two. If we replace row two with negative four times row two plus row one, that would give us a zero in this first position. Now if we look at row one, column three, or this element here, we could obtain a zero here also if we replace row one with row one plus row three. Notice how we have a one in this position here. So at the same time, let's go ahead and replace row one with row one plus row three. So for row one, we'll have four plus negative three, that's one. Two plus negative one, that's one. Negative one plus one is zero. Then we have one plus zero is one. Zero plus zero is zero. And zero plus one is one. Now for row two, We'll have negative four times one plus four, that's zero. And then negative four times one, that's negative four plus two, that's negative two. Negative four times negative one, that's positive four, plus negative one, that's three. And then we have negative four times zero plus one is one. Negative four times one, that's negative four plus zero, that's negative four and negative four times zero plus zero is zero. Finally for row three, we have three times row two plus row three. So first we have three times one, that's three, plus negative three, that's zero. Three times one, that's three, plus negative one, that's two. Three times negative one, that's negative three, plus one, that's negative two. Three times zero plus zero is zero. Three times one is three, plus zero is three and three times zero is zero plus one is one. Now let's try to get a zero here and here. And we'll have to use row two and three so we don't lose the zero in column one. So notice that in column two, these two elements are already opposites. So let's go ahead and replace row three with row two plus row three. Now looking at row two, column three, notice the element below the three is already negative, so they're opposite signs, and since at least common multiple of two and three is six, we're gonna replace row two with two times row two plus three times row three. So we'll keep the first row the same for right now. And now for two times row two plus three times row three, We'll have two times zero plus three times zero, that's zero. Two times negative two, that's negative four, 
plus three times two, that's plus six, so that's positive two. Two times three plus three times negative two, that's zero. And we have two times one plus three times zero, that's two. Then two times negative four, that's negative eight, plus three times three, that's plus nine, that's positive one. Two times zero plus three times one is three. For row three, we have row two plus row three, so we have zero plus zero, that's zero. Two plus negative two, that's zero. Negative two plus three is one. Zero plus one is one. Three plus negative four is negative one. And one plus zero is one. Okay, so now we're getting close. We still need to have a zero in this position here. So we'll go ahead and use row one and row two. We need this element here to be negative two, so we can add it to positive two. So we're gonna replace row one with negative two times row one plus row two. We also want this first element in row two to be positive one, so we'll also replace row two with one half times row two. So negative two times one plus zero is negative two. Negative two times one plus two is zero. Negative two times zero plus zero is zero. Negative two times one is negative two plus two is zero. Negative two times zero plus one is one. Negative two times one, that's negative two plus three is positive one. And then for row two, we're gonna multiply by one half. So we have zero, one, zero, one, one half, and three halves. Row three stays the same. Now for the last step, this first element here has to be positive one. So we're gonna replace row one with negative one half times row one. So row two and row three stay the same. So we have negative one half times negative two, that's positive one. And then negative one half times zero is zero. So we have zero, zero, zero and we have negative one-half, negative one-half. Notice now we do have the form that we need. So the left side is a three by three identity matrix, which means the right side is A inverse. So A inverse, or the inverse of matrix A, is equal to the three by three matrix, where the first row is zero, negative one-half, negative one half. The second row is one, one half, three halves. And the third row is one, negative one, one. And now that we have the inverse, we know that A times A inverse equals A inverse times A, which is equal to a three by three identity matrix. I hope you found this helpful.